Hello everyone, this is Nicole. I'm back with another video. I hope everyone is doing well out there. Shout out to Heru Apocalypse for mentioning this story in the live I just did this evening. It's about the autopilot car that crashed. Um, this was published a couple of days ago, but from Raw Story, they say Tesla acknowledges autopilot was on during the crash. Um, they posted this article with permission from Al Jazeera. So if you wanted to see the original article, you could go to Al Jazeera to see that. Electric car maker Tesla has confirmed its quote autopilot feature was engaged during a fatal crash last week. A development set to exacerbate concerns over the safety of futuristic vehicles. And there have already been several accidents in these cars when they're supposed to be um, auto-driven, meaning they're driving themselves. Autopilot um, is still far from a completely autonomous driving system, which would not require any involvement by a human. So people still think that they're going to have that type of vehicle like they had in the movie Judge Dredd with um, Wesley Snipes and Sandra Bullock and uh, Sylvester Stallone. But no, I don't think that's coming um, anytime soon. They're still working out the kinks. I just wish they would work the kinks out with the robots and the crash dummies and not real people. But hey, that's just me. Moving on into the article, it says autopilot is considered part of the second of five levels of autonomous driving, with the fifth being fully autonomous, something once featured in futuristic cartoons, but which has moved closer to reality. You know, I think they're talking about referring to the Jetsons there. So let's get to the meat and potatoes of this story. The car crash. A Tesla Model X, the latest model, collided with a highway barrier near the town of Mountain View in California on March 23rd. Hmm, Mountain View. You should remember where you heard that city before. The car crashed, caught on fire before two other cars struck it. So Mountain View is the same area where the YouTube um, mass shooting, uh, well, the shooting occurred. I think it was in that same area. Please correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong, but I believe that was sim that was very close to uh, or near San Bruno. Now we have the Tesla crashing. All right. There's no connection. I, I don't think there's a connection. Just saying a lot of stuff is happening in that one little area. It's kind of weird. The driver was identified by the Mercury News as a 38-year-old man, Wei Huang, an engineer for Apple. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, they say here he later died in the hospital. Wow, okay. My heart and prayers go out to his family. No one expects to go like that. Like, that's, you know, just, that's crazy. Tesla issued a blog post late Friday saying the driver had activated the autopilot but ignored several warnings. Um, they say here, in the moments before the collision, autopilot was engaged with the adaptive cruise control follow distance set to minimum, Tesla said. That means um, they would not be able, the car would not be able to respond. That's basically what they're saying. Minimum response to what to be able to adapt to changes in the um in the road the driver had received several visual and one audible hands-on warning earlier in the drive and the driver's hands were not detected on the wheel for six seconds prior to the collision so why didn't the damn car just stop it's so smart to be on autopilot it doesn't know how to engage the brakes because it can see a car before it hits it so why can't it engage the brakes? Hmm. They say here the driver had about five seconds and 150 meters or 164 yards 
of unobstructed view of the concrete divider with the crushed crash attenuator. But the vehicle logs show that no action was taken. Tesla added this comment. Um, they said that the reason the car sustained such great damage was because a highway barrier had been crushed in a prior accident without being replaced. So there was not much there to stop the car when it slammed into it. We have never seen this level of damage to a Model X in any other crash, it said. The company, founded 15 years ago by Elon Musk, sought to downplay fears over its technology. The statement they gave says, Over a year ago, our first iteration of autopilot was found by the U.S. government to reduce crash rates by as much as 40%, it said. A pedestrian was killed. And in January, excuse me, last year, the U.S. Transportation Department closed an investigation into the fatal 2016 crash in Florida of a Tesla Model S on autopilot, finding that no safety-related defect had caused that accident, the first one of its kind. The latest fatal Tesla crash came the same week a collision involving an autonomous Uber vehicle in Arizona killed a pedestrian and caused that company to temporarily halt its self-driving car program. Circumstances of the two crashes are different. Um, no. The two crashes... <laughs> okay, they really gonna do this. They really gonna make me do this. Okay, it's not different. You killed somebody. Somebody died in both crashes. Oh, Lord, here they go. Circumstances of the two crashes are different. Tesla's autopilot is a driver assistance feature, while the Uber vehicle was designed to operate autonomously, but with a driver behind the wheel to correct mistakes. Let me read that again, and you let me know in the comment section if this little section makes any sense to you. Circumstances of the two crashes are different. Somebody died in both cases. Tesla's autopilot is a driver assistance feature. Meaning that it's a feature that assists the, the driver, giving you um, visual and auditory warnings and stuff like that to monitor your driving based on the terrain as it changes. While the Uber vehicle was designed to operate autonomously, but with a driver behind the wheel to correct mistakes. So they're making it sound as though Tesla's autopilot program, you can sit anywhere in the car and the car will drive you. That's what it seems like they're saying to me. But with Uber, Uber, you have to be behind the wheel to correct mistakes. Both of the cars, the messed up because somebody's dead from both of the cars crashing. So I don't see how they're different. If you see that the Tesla autopilot is different from the Uber vehicle with its autonomous um, operations, let me know in, in the comment section because I, I just don't see how they're, how they're different. They seem the same to me. I have to see schematics or some type of video to compare. The article goes on to say dash cam footage released by police showed that the operator appeared to be distracted seconds before the car hit the woman. The nonprofit group Consumer Watchdog has argued that autonomous vehicles are not ready for roads and the public should not be put at risk to test such technology. After the Uber accident, excuse me, Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal said, quote, autonomous vehicle technology has a long way to go before it is truly safe for the passengers, pedestrians and drivers, end quote. Competition. I think that's where it comes, where a lot of it comes from, because both of these companies are about money and they're both competing with each other to see who can make the best safest autonomous car that brings in the most money 
Both Uber and Tesla are rivals in the multi-billion dollar drive to develop vehicles, which in the future will not need any driver intervention. Among other contenders, General Motors has asked to test a car with no steering wheel on roads beginning next year. Google-owned Waymo is also intensifying its self-driving efforts. In the final fifth stage of autonomous driving, in the final fifth stage of autonomous driving is still distant. Microprocessor manufacturer NVIDIA unveiled an artificial intelligence platform to be able that goal several months ago. The system can perform 320 trillion operations a second, completely independently of a vehicle's passengers. California-based NVIDIA provided some technology in the Uber car, which crashed in Arizona, prompting the chip firm to suspend its road test pending more information about the incident. Well, no shit, y'all, y'all car you developed didn't work. You know, it's, oh my God, that dog is so cute. Okay, sorry. I was distracted by cuteness. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's things work in the lab a certain way. And when you put them into real practice, they don't always work the way you expect them to. Um, and they are not taken into account that there is a lot of uh, time and effort that needs to be put into, you know, they want to just pour money into these projects and they're not thinking of the long-term consequences that it will have. I'm sure people, um, if, if they get these autonomous cars, they get them on the market, they're safe enough. You're still going to have a lot of crashes. I mean, they should realize how many crashes we have in this country every year, or just look at every quarter, how many accidents there are. I don't know off the top of my head, but I'm sure there are a lot. I drive on the 405 every day and um, it's pretty bad. That's just in the morning. I don't I don't drive in the evening and there's a reason for that. It, the traffic is is horrendous. Any time of, of morning or, or day or evening, any day of the week, people are getting in accidents and they are in charge of driving the car themselves. So if you expect the consumers to be able to program the car to do what they want it to do and that operation to occur efficiently, especially in LA County with all these raggedy behind roads they got out here. If you expect that to happen, it's, it's you are fooling yourself. So they have a long way to go. Um, I hope that the families of these victims have been compensated by these corporations or in the process or, or are in the process of being compensated because after a while, they're going to have a lot of class action lawsuits on their hands. So that'll do it for today. Um, where we're talking about Tesla acknowledging autopilot was on during the crash I can't wait to hear an article from Raw Story or any other source that says Tesla and or Uber pay off victims of their autopilot vehicles because um, that shit ain't work. It ain't work. The car is not working. It's breaking down. So let me know what you all think in the comment section and I'll holler at you later. Have a good night.